Okay, in this session we're going to be looking at Unit 10 Communication Technologies, P5. Okay, P5 uh, falls under Learning Outcome 2, which is Know the Main Elements of Data Communication Systems. And P5 uh, breaks down to describe the principles of signal theory. Uh, P5 requires you to describe the principles of signal theory as outlined in the unit content. Um, there's quite a lot that we need to put into this particular task um, and if we take a look at everything that we need to do it can look quite daunting. Um, first things first, digital signal signaling methods, representing data electronically, synchronous transmission, asynchronous transmission, error detection, error correction, bandwidth limitation, bandwidth noise, uh, channel types, um, also looking at microwave satellites and other issues, for example, bandwidth and data compression. Um, to look at that list is not very nice. So I've kind of broken this down um, just so it's a little bit easier to read. Okay, firstly then. Um, expectations would be that you um, explain how the data on one computer can be sent to another computer via a variety of signaling methods. Now this can be done in two ways. Um, synchronously or asynchronously. So um, you need to describe how synchronous data transfer works and how asynchronous data transfer transfer works. Next part, um, how bi bi excuse me, binary data is grouped together. So we need to break it down into bits, into bytes and into packets. Um, discuss each part. Describe the bits, the bytes, the packets. Um, next part, um, what is error detection, correction and check-in and how is it done? Okay, so describe error detection, um, break it down, look at checksums, look at CRCs and describe what they are. Um, you'll also be asked to look at the effects of interference, um, interference being noise on a particular transmission method. You'll also be asked to look at the limitation of bandwidth. Uh, limitation of bandwidth being um, all dependent on the size of cable that, that you've got. Um, you'll also be asked to look at the effect of data compression, um, you know, effectively looking at reducing load and reducing the latency on the network. You'll also be asked to explain the different channel types, for example, high frequency radio, microwave satellites and it'd probably be a good idea to sort of identify and describe the advantage and disadvantage of each 